Hi everyone, so this video is going to be my end of September updates. Um, so the first thing is my new acquisitions. Um, so Fred Clark from Sunset Valley Orchids came to visit and gave a talk at our meeting, so I bought three catacetums from him. So the first one is Cloesia russellianum, crossed with catacetum tigrinum. The second one is catacetum tigrinum, crossed with uh, Catacetum cleburianum, and the last one is Cloesia elena lawson crossed with Catacetum tigridum. So they're all tigridum crosses. So I really like the tigridum species, at least from from photos that I've seen. So I'm very excited to have these. All right, so here's an update on my Aridis quincu vulnera. It's still in spike, and the spike still looks healthy. So I think we'll have to wait a little bit for this. So another very exciting thing is on my Ascocentrum curvifolium it's pushing out a brand new root. So it's been uh, surviving on the old roots and this root, this is the latest root that it grew. It didn't branch out or anything. Uh, and this one is just brand new. So uh, I think that's a good thing. The next things are my Paraphelinopsis uh, flask babies. I guess seedlings now. I did take out the one that was kind of meh uh, that I mentioned in the other video. Most of these are doing fine except for this one here. I think this one will have to go, but the rest seem pretty healthy. And this is my Renanthera monachica. I decided to pot it up in lava rock. And the reason is because uh, if you've been following my channel, there hasn't been very much going on with it. So I just wanted to check the root system. And the root system was pretty small from what I was expecting in um, a basket that large. So I wanted to put it in a transparent pot so I can observe the roots. And also I want to keep it in this tank because uh, it is a warm growing plant and I have a heat mat under the tank so it's a very warm environment for it and so far I think it seems to be helping. Uh, can't really tell or maybe you can. There's a new root tip starting there and also there as well so hopefully this will improve a lot more. This is my SLC World Vacation Shibuya Sunset. The previous growth had no flower spike so that's just disappointing but um, it has a new growth on it, so we'll see on that one. And uh, this is my larger division of Epidendrum ciliari. I've put the pot in a clay pot, and I have the stick here and the string just to help stabilize it. Because the roots haven't really gone down into the pot, uh, the plant's very unstable, so uh, I've been doing that. So far, it's pushing out new roots, so that's good. Uh, so this is a piece from my Catacetum gladiatorium crosses the uh, barbatum. Um, I'll show you in a in a bit but there was this and another new growth that was growing on old pseudobulbs that were being depleted. Because they were de being depleted and the roots on these weren't touching the media I decided to plug this and another one out. Um, I've already given the other one away. This one I'll give away uh, when it gets a bit bigger so if anyone's interested let me know and I'm happy to send it out to you. Uh, this is my Dendrobium carniferum. Even though we're in the autumn season now it still uh, hasn't really grown all the way yet so I'm still watering it and fertilizing it normally to get make sure the new growth is growing properly. Uh, seems like so far it's doing well so I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, this is my RLC Little Toshi and there is a bud coming. Uh, this is my Trichocentrum albococcineum and it's been able to push a root all the way down into the media so uh, this one's doing pretty well. This is my Dendrobium scabrolingu and it's kind of in the same boat as the Coroniferum. It hasn't done growing and it's been growing pretty slowly so I'm going to just keep watering it and fertilizing it until this grows. It's supposed to have a winter rest I believe but uh, I don't think that's gonna happen this year. This is my Kaisis lemming hay and it's pushing out two new growths. Looks like just this one is leafing out. And this is my Thrixpermum lycoracne and you guys are seeing it in bloom. Uh, now that it's um, autumn and a lot cooler, I've noticed that blooms are definitely opening more frequently. There was actually one day where I had two open at the same time so that was really cool and I did film a video on that so hopefully that will be coming soon. This is my Phalaenopsis javanica and it's pushing out a new leaf. Unfortunately one of the flower spikes dried up so I only have two now but that's okay. 
Uh, this is my Paraphelinopsis labucensis crossed with the uh, Sedenfidenia mitrata and the flowers bloomed and now they are gone. I also have a video on this so that'll be coming. Uh, this is my LC supersonic striking lip and it's pushing out this giant root uh, on the latest growth there so I have a feeling a new growth will be uh, starting soon. This is my FDK After Dark SVO Black Pearl. Not much change from last time, although I will say that I'm considering getting rid of this, uh, namely because I am running out of room and I have a lot of plants already on my wish list uh, and I just bought three catacetums. I mostly bought this one because I was fascinated by the black flowers, but I think I would prefer having more colorful flowers. So that's why I'm considering getting rid of this one. I'm hoping it'll bloom uh, this winter time, and if not, it might be one to go. This is my Catacetum gladiatorium crossed with Barbatum, uh, the little, the mother plant of the little one I, I showed before. And if you remember from previous videos, there was one growing here and then I think one growing on this side. And this pseudobulb is turning yellow and depleted. And this one is growing on top of this one, which is super depleted. Uh, so when it goes into dormancy, I'm gonna repot it and remove these old ones and just plant this one in. And it's in spike, so uh, we'll get flowers on this one very soon. Um, this is my Aerides flabellata, and it's pushing out a new leaf. I've put it a lot closer to the light, hoping that it will do a lot better. Uh, you can see the previous two leaves didn't do that well. So yeah, I still have hope for this one. Or rather, I'm willing to put in the effort for this one. This is my Dendrobium bracteosum, and it's still in bloom, although the blooms are starting to fade now. This is another one that I'm considering getting rid of. It's a very nice plant, but I'm running out of space, and I've enjoyed it well enough, and I'm okay with letting this go. Uh, this is my Dendrobium antenatum cross and it finally let go of all its uh, flowers. Uh, this is my Dendrobium sherry abe and it's pushed out this growth relatively quickly. I don't think I'll get a bloom out of it but uh, I'm very happy with the growth. I was kind of wondering what would happen since it did nothing all summer but it looks like autumn is a time where it grows. At least for me, I'll see. Um, so this is my Dendrobium longicornu, and I'm surprised it's still in bloom. Uh, for whatever reason, I thought that the blooms were on their way out, but no, it's still going strong. Uh, this is my Sophronides cernua, and I've decided to repot it, or rather take it off the mount and put it in a pot. So it's in a clay pot with uh, charcoal, and I was hoping that uh, it would kind of overgrow it and I can treat this as the mount. Anyway, it's pushing out a new growth, so hopefully uh, it'll do well here. And this is my Ascocentrum ampelicea crossed with uh, Christensoniana, and it's pushing out a ton of roots. This is another one I'm considering getting rid of, mainly because I do have one of the parents and the parent is doing very well for me so I'm not sure if it's worth keeping this one because I think the flowers look fairly similar and I think I would prefer more variants in my collection. Also I'm having trouble getting this to bloom so those are the main reasons why I'm considering getting rid of this one. Uh, so this is my Pefinia rugosa and uh, you can only see two there, but it has five new growths. There's uh, three on this side and then two on that side. You can see where the outer sheath is splitting, and that's because there's a new growth growing. So there's one on this side and one on the other side of it. Uh, this is my Chysis levis, and it's pushing out a new growth. Alright, so these are my Dendrobium tobiense flask babies. No contamination yet, so that's good. I noticed that a lot of leaves are turning brown and drying out, so that's not super great, but the new leaves are fine. Uh, and there's this guy at the bottom still growing. So yeah, since it's getting cooler here, I'm definitely not going to take it out, but I'm considering taking it out next spring. But if anyone has an opinion on that or any opinion of the dry leaves, should I be worried? Please let me know. Um, This is my Dendrobium virginium and it decided to push out another new growth late in the year, so probably won't be resting this one either. Uh, this is my Dendrobium draconis, and this is the latest growth that it pushed out. Uh, it didn't get very big, which is kind of disappointing, but uh, at least I got something here. Um, so this is my uh, Ionocidium popcorn hariri, and it is pushing out a new growth, and also a bunch of roots. This is another one I was considering getting rid of. 
namely because uh, this was an impulse buy. It's not really on my wish list, although I think the flowers are pretty interesting, but uh, yeah, that's the update on this one. So these two are my Massive Valley and Fracta. Uh, they used to both be in this pot, but for whatever reason I decided to put it outside and then I noticed part of it was turning brown. So so I took off the leaf and uh, when I sort of unpotted it, uh, it split into two pieces. So uh, this one looks pretty infected and I think I'm actually going to throw this out. So I just have this little piece left. Uh, this one seems to be doing okay, slow growing. I'm not doing super well with it, but I'm willing to try. Um, a bit more worth it. Uh, so this is my Stanhopia. So basically nothing was going on so I decided to repot it since it's been in the moss for a very long time. Uh, so it's repotted only in moss and recently it's just been starting to put out new roots so I think that's a good thing. Oh and the leaves did have mites on them so that's been treated. Yeah so I'm gonna give this one one last chance. If it's too much trouble then I'm just gonna get rid of it. Someone else with a greenhouse maybe could grow better but I just, just want to try one more time. Uh, so this is my Corianthes misasii and uh, this is the newest growth apart from these two new growths there. Um, I did notice some browning in the leaves here and then this leaf had mites on it so it's been sprayed. Uh, hopefully these ones will be fine. Um, so this is my Rodrigesia and it's pushing out a new growth. Yeah so this one is again one that I'm considering getting rid of. It does smell nice, but I don't know. I think I would prefer to make room for things that I really want. Uh, so this is, uh, I think I'm gonna let this one go. So sorry guys for whoever really liked it. But again, if anyone really likes it and wants to take it, I'm very happy to give it to you. So let me know. Alrighty, so that's my video for today. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.